In this problem, we they just want us to find the value of the derivative at negative 2 over 3. So we have this function, and it's going to be product rule. So it's the first term times the derivative of x plus 1, uh, which will equal this. Um, how I got this? Uh, well, this can be rewritten as this. Square root of x plus 1 is the same as x plus 1 to the one raised to the power of 1 half. So all I'm doing is the power rule of bringing 1 half down and then subtracting 1 from this, which will give me negative 1 half. So that's what I got here. And then it's going to be plus the second term times the derivative of the first term. So it's negative 3. So then we have, we can just simplify it. So negative 3x goes on the top. Um, since it's uh, one, ha 1 over 2, the 2 can go on the denominator. And since it's raised to the negative 1 half power, x plus 1 can go on the bottom. Here, I'm just multiplying. So it's negative 3 times uh, the square root. Uh, so instead of positive, it'll be a negative because it's negative here. So the actual question asked us to find the value at negative 2 over 3. So all I'm doing is going to plug in 2 over 3. So here, um, all I did was plug in uh, negative 2 over 3 every, every place I saw an x. And then I just simplify, well, negative 3 cross multiply um, with 3 over here just cancels out. The negatives cancel out to make a positive. Uh, here, negative 2 over 3 plus 1, that becomes 1 over 3. Um, same thing here, it just becomes 1 over 3. And then simplify a little more. Well, 1, one over 3. Um, well, from here, here to here, all I did was cancel the 2s and you're left with 1 over square root of 1 over 3 because 1 third raised to the 1 half is the same as square root of 1 over 3 and you're left with this over here here I'm just simplifying it a little more um, multiplying both the numerator and denominator by square root of 1 over 3 same thing here multiplying um, uh, by 1 third on uh, both the numerator and the denominator so what do we get well, we get uh, here, we get uh, square root of 1 over 3. Here, it cancels out 1 third. Here, uh, well, 3 times 1 third is just 1. And then here, it's 1 third. So what happens here? Well, since this is the positive, since these are exactly the same, but one's positive and one's negative, we will get 0. So the final answer to the, our question here, uh, find the value of the derivative at negative 2 over 3 is zero right here. So I hope that helped and thanks for watching.